Um, and that's a good transition into hearing a little bit about your own sort of upbringing. And before we get to your first business, I was wondering if you could tell us about your own starting vantage point. What sure. was your family like and what was that early life like before you started uh, your first well, uh, I don't think I've ever thing. talked about this on stage. Um, so, uh, I was, you know, my parents are both uh, from, from India uh, and uh, both immigrants. And uh, my brother and I grew up on Long Island. Um, it's spelled L-O-N-G-U-Y-L-A-N-D if you guys are from New York. You know, I go for, back to New York, I talk like this, how you guys doing, get over here. Um, and uh, so, so basically, uh, so, you know, I grew up uh, you know, there and uh, that was in the 80s and 90s and I was like the one brown kid in a school of like you know, 400 kids. And uh, so you know, like, it wasn't like the, the most fun kind of thing like, because you know, I, I joke that in the United States, life begins with a 13 year mandatory minimum. <laughs> um, which is basically K through 12, right? Um, oh. And uh, so I learned to fight early on. Mm -hmm. um, all the kids would, you know, attack. well, or just learn to fight. Well, I mean, like, I mean, so I, I, I'm not, tr I'm not trying to be dark or anything like no, that sure. here. But basically, um, no, I mean, they'd call me Gandhi and they would, you know, throw things at me. I, I understand the new thing is slum dog. That's like the new insult or whatever that's you know thrown, right? So like, you know, kids would gang up on me like five, ten kids at a time. Uh, and uh, so I learned like very quickly that to just take the trapper keeper and go well bam to the, to the first first guy really hard and uh, because you know like otherwise you're, you're just in for it right uh, and you know like now paradoxically like I, you know I wasn't starving or anything like that you know my parents you know put food on the table they were very busy as physicians you know and they were like working constantly all the time my dad was on call you know and so on. And uh, so, you know, basically I would go to prison each day in the morning and I, and I learned nothing for like 13 years because, um, so, you know, my, my mother's father was actually like a, a research mathematician, he was like a really smart guy, and he taught me trigonometry before I entered grade school and then he died. Um, and so my parents were really busy at work and uh, so then, uh, you know, basically for like 10, 12 years I learned nothing other than how to fight and then I'd play video games at home and that was my life. Like I was like in a cage. It was pre-internet, all this stuff, right? So, um, you know, then, uh, you know, I, I got out and I, you know, I had good test scores. I played, uh, eventually played lacrosse and football and, uh, you know, that like, you know, got me some defense because I was on a team and so then people wouldn't screw with you in, in the same way. Um, and. Uh, you know, so I made it out to Stanford, uh, and um, then you know the internet really started opening up in the late '90s. Um, but at the time, uh, when the year that I graduated, uh, I uh, you know the, the dot com bubble had crashed in like 2000, 2001 that that time. So the startup thing was something you sort of thought of like 30 somethings doing, not 20 somethings. It wasn't like it was today, right? So you know, having graduated then. Um, Basically, you know, something I'd been interested in for a long time was uh, genetics and um, uh, in particular, you know, life extension, telomerase, you know, like all the transhumanist stuff, which we call it today, um, which was Intuit at that time. Human Genome Project just, just gone finished. The bioinformatics was just starting as a field. Uh, so I, I started getting into that in a big way, and that's what I did my PhD at and continued at Stanford. So that's like origin story or whatever.